sex on Tyra. How much do you tell your kids about sex? I don't think that she's doing anything more than she's telling you. I've been pretty open with her. Stay away from boys as long as you can. Now it's time for the moment of truth. My mom will probably be surprised of the number of guys I had sex with. She doesn't really know. It's only eight. It's only been eight. That's not a lot. How old are you? Fifteen. Did you know it was this much? What else do you want to know? Tyra starts now. Due to the graphic nature of today's show, parental guidance is strongly suggested. So I, I have a question to the parents. I want to know what you do when your three-year-old asks you, Mommy, where do babies come from? You get all nervous and weird and like squirming in your seat. Mommy, why are you squirming? <laughs> or, or what about when your 11-year-old son suddenly starts hiding his sheets? Junior, you got laundry? Where's your sheets? Oh. I don't know, Mom. <laughs> or what about if you suspect that your 14-year-old daughter just may be having sex? Oh. What do you say? What do you say to them? And how much do you tell your kids about sex? Now, my mama was very open, very, very open with me, you know, at a young age, you know, and, and about sex and anything else I had a question about. But many parents dread the talk and they dread that talk more than anything in the world how many parents in the audience right now are like "Woo, the talk child i see i see some hands are like oh gosh and um when to give the talk is a very polarizing topic when time like how, what age now some parents think that if you talk about sex with your kids they'll encourage them to start doing it just by talking about it. And other parents feel that if you do not talk about sex with your kids, that your kids are going to have sex anyway, but that they're going to make mistakes because they, do, they don't have the right information. Joining me are some moms with a lot of different opinions on how to handle talking to kids about sex. So Christy has a 14-year-old, right? Yes, and Mercedes. Mercedes. Do you yes. talk to Mercedes about sex? Yeah, we do. We talk about it all the time. Whenever she has a question, lately it's been more about my experience when I started having sex. She, she asked you that? Yes. <laughs> and what do you tell her? Well, I to tell you the truth, I was very honest with her about when I started having sex because I wanted her to know what I went through as far as that I feel that it's a little young. I think 14 is a little young. So that's when you had sex when you were 14? Yes. And then you told her that? Yes. And how old is she? 14. She's like, well, mama. <laughs> if mama can do it, I can do it. And so is she doing it? Well, not? she announced while I was driving in the car with her girlfriend, she had a couple of her girlfriends with her, that she had already done it. I Wait, in front of her friend she said yes. that? Yes. To you? I was so upset. And you're driving? Yes. <laughs> okay, so she told you that. And what did you tell her? Um, I told her, first of all, I was very hurt because we were going to, we agreed that she was going to wait and talk to me about it first. Got it. Without just going through with it. And she didn't live up to what she said she was going to do. Okay, who so else thinks that, that their child is sexually active? I you know? know my daughter is. Oh, I know my daughter is. <laughs> okay, Jennifer? Uh, yeah, I have a 15-year-old, Leandra. Um, she's, I, I started getting kind of suspicious when she was about 11, 12. I'd come home from work and there would be boys on the porch, boys calling on the phone, mm -hmm. um, things like that. And then when she was about 13, she started getting pickies, um, oh. things like that. I, I worked a lot. She got hickeys the on the neck. And other as places, young as yes. how old? Oh. What? Thirteen. But you said she was thirteen. Thirteen. And yeah. where else did she have hickeys? On her chest. Mm. On her boobs? Yes. And she, <laughs> and she said she. Well, she started admitting about the sex um, about a year and a half ago. She, because wow. I, I finally started talking to her and telling her, you know, you can tell me anything. I had a baby when I was fifteen, mm -hmm. and I kind of started the talk out that way, telling her I don't want her to end up like that with a baby at fifteen. So do you give her condoms, birth yes. control? Yes. She's, uh, I give her condoms all the time. I've given her birth control. She's taken the pills. She's not proven to be very responsible with that. And we've talked about the shot. She's kind of iffy about that. But right now I feel giving her the condoms is the most that I can do and Tina, that she takes. Tina, you uh, have a 14-year-old. Yes, Ashley. Ashley. Okay. Yes. Tell me about Ashley and, and, and sex. And where, what do you think she is now? I, I don't think she's having it. I hope she's not. I would like for her to wait. How long is she? I know she's been talking about sex. Since what age? Probably about 10. I've been pretty open with her. Um, I told her to wait, you know, stay away from boys as long as you can. But she does have a boyfriend that she's had for about six months. Uh -huh. so and what about condoms? Do you talk about condoms with her? 
Um, I told her that I would buy them for her. Uh -huh. um, I don't want to. I just heard a mm over here. No, oh, absolutely not. not. What, what, where did you go mm to? Well, if you buy a child condoms, you're giving them a license to have sex. Mm -hmm. Also, a I, I don't agree with that. because That's my just my opinion. Knows. Everybody gets to choose. But if my, you my give a condom, you can't me, prevent. And I still got pregnant. But with condoms won't prevent sexually transmitted diseases fully. They won't prevent the emotional damage, the emotional scarring. So giving a child a condom is not the solution. But Teaching your child to wait. Well, until they get married or wait if, until they're old they, enough to handle they, the emotional. If they refuse to wait and they're going to go out and do it anyway, I would rather have my child know she's protected. But kids live up to your expectations. Tell me about your kids. My huh. son, Roland, is 15 years old. Since we've been in our church, which I've always been in church, he's been taught purity, abstinence, and I expect that he will wait, and he's expecting now that it's a good thing to look forward to. Talking to him about sex, I pump it up. The world is pumping it up. I don't want to pretend like sex is not a good thing, but I've told him that sex is God's wedding gift to marriage. I've talked to him about waiting for his wife, that God has somebody special prepared for him, and that's going to be his gift to her and her gift to him. If I tell my daughter no, 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 because I know how I grew up, my mom was really, really strict. I couldn't have company, I couldn't have people calling past 9 o'clock at night. I had to have certain friends, and I still got pregnant, and I still had a baby. But you know and what it, I heard that I was think missing? That it's, not, it's, not so much, it's not so much that, that what you expect of them. Because my mom did expect that. Well, then of me. structure their world. You my said you did structure. Well, you my said world was structured, okay, and I made sure that I went out and did what I want. And you know mm -hmm. what, though, and, and those are the kinds of things you would say. I wouldn't have told my child that I started having sex at 15. I would have said, I made some mistakes. I want you to do things differently. Oh, yeah. We're all human, but I want to give you some tools so you don't have to do the same thing. Right, and that's and that's what I tell her. But she's 15 years old. I can't hide from her that I had her older brother when I was 15. You know she what? She knows that he's there. But I can teach him. I'm going to keep shooting for it. So if he wants to get married when he's like 18, then you'll be all right with that. You know what? I would hope that if he came and said, Mom, I want to get married at 18, that we could come up with a plan and convince him to wait until he graduates from college. But mm. if he thinks he finds that special someone, let's meet the mama. Let's meet the daddy. Let's become a family and try to encourage them to wait. Okay, so, so you're open to that. Oh, you know what? If it he, happens, might be able to go, he might not be able to go much further past that age. We have to support him. <laughs> well, yeah, honestly. Sharice, yeah. what about you? You have a, How old is your daughter? My daughter is 11, Alicia. And what do you... And with sex what do you what about her my daughter actually I feel like I'm forced I was forced to talk to my daughter about sex because in fifth grade at the age of 10 she came home and she told me mom a boy wrote a picture and on the picture it showed him sticking his private area in her private area mm -hmm. and on the picture it said us wow. wow so then I have that and then I have to go with uh, two, maybe two months later, probably not even two months later, a boy left a message on my machine and I'm thinking she gave out her number to a boy or whatever, but she, no, a friend did. A friend told me I talked to her and her parents. That's what you're supposed to talk to the parents. And the message says, Alicia, dum da da dum dum um, I want to stick my D in your P. Oh, on the God. message? On the message, wow. on my machine. Now when she, she, she's also said something about I don't know what that is. <laughs> My, Why does yeah. the whole audience know that right now? <laughs> Do they know what it is? Because I didn't know what it is. Well, I've never heard of that. Right. They have new stuff. They know about it. What? Yes. Yes. And how old did it? I did this? not know that's what it is. Yes. Yeah. I still don't know what it is. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so in the fifth grade, they said that to your daughter? Yeah, they say it now. They, the kids. <laughs> do you guys know what it is? I didn't tell. She told me. Do you know what it is? I don't know what it is now. I do know now. Everybody knows what it is now? You guys going to make mother stop drinking tea. Yeah. I'm like, Earl Grey? No way, <laughs> child. Okay, so, so, you, so, you, so you had to, did you tell her what it was? I told her what I thought it was, and she said no. Um, they said it's when you dip. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so I'm like, oh, you know, wow. this is what you're talking about, and I have to talk. So she started asking me questions. Now, she asked you if sex feels good. What'd you say? She asked me if sex feels good. She said, because when her friends talk about it at school,
school, it sounds dirty. And I told her, yes, sex does feel good, but when it's between a man and a woman that's mature and they love each other, your mommy and your daddy, I said, that's how you got here. But you should not be... Does she go to school with like a much older children or is it all, is it, is it She's middle school? She's in the sixth grade. Oh, so it's middle school. It's middle school. It's middle school. Yes. Do you, think, you, do you guys think your grade. kids tell you everything that no. they do? No. 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 My, my do you think they're doing does. stuff? Do you think they're doing more know. than you think they are? Do you think you know as much as your daughter knows? Um, I think so. I, you think I, you know like, as much? I think she probably knows more than I do. I don't think that she's doing anything more than she's telling me. What she's about pretty you, open now. Tina? You know, I really structure Ashley. I try and bring her friends to our house. I keep her pretty close to me. Uh -huh. She doesn't guys? have free time. You know? I have to know who she's with. She can't go to a birthday party unless it's an invitation. I have to meet the parents. Mm -hmm. We do. I, I spend time with my kids. But well, we're going to meet the kids when we come back. We'll be right back. Up next, what your teens are not telling you. If I had a guess of the guys I had sex with, it'd probably be eight. And later, what an eight-year-old knows about the birds and the bees. Well, skip periods. What's the period? It's the end of a sentence. Okay, so how and when should parents talk to their kids about sex? We're with moms who have 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15-year-old kids. And they're trying to deal with how much they should tell their kids and when. But how do their kids feel? How do their kids feel about this whole sex thing? Check this out. A group of teens were gathered to have an open and honest discussion about sex. Each one of them was pulled aside to talk about their personal experiences. Everybody at school talks about sex, and I know what they're saying is not true. My mom is forced to tell, talk to me about sex because other people are talking about sex. I think my mom tries to talk to me about sex, but I think sometimes she doesn't really know what to t say to me. It's really cool that I can like go to my mom and have her be able to talk to me about it because I know some of my friends' moms, they won't talk to them about it at all. If I have a question about sex, I usually go to my friends. I learn about sex mostly from the streets because I don't really have friends, so I kind of just hear stuff through the grapevine. She just doesn't want to know. I think my parents kind of have the better off if I don't know attitude sometimes. It's almost like I'm scared to talk to my mom about it. Because I think she'll judge me. Like if I did do something, I wouldn't really want to say it. Because I was going to high school, I felt like I needed some more experience. So me and my boyfriend have already had sex. My best friend had sex and I felt like since it wasn't really a big deal, I should just like get it over with almost. The pressure is there and it makes you choose that decision maybe sooner. If you don't have sex, then everybody calls you lying and all my friends claim they're having sex, but I'm lying about having sex to them. I think it's normal for kids my age to have sex. The, all the sex talks makes me feel like awkward. I think one of the biggest things my mom would be surprised about is that we had sex the day after we started going out. And there's a couple times we didn't use condoms, but like I would hope for the best and it worked out okay. My mom would probably be surprised of the number of guys I had sex with because she doesn't really know. If I had a guess of the guys I had sex with, it'd probably be eight. It'd probably eight. Wow. Mom. <laughs> Eight. How old are you? Fifteen. Fifteen years old and you've had sex with eight guys. Yeah. Why do you think you've had sex with so many guys? Um, I don't think that I've had sex with so many guys, but I know it's only eight. But they were all mostly my boyfriend. Wait, you said you... I'm confused. Let's slow down. Okay, you said... It's only been eight, so that's not a lot? Not really. That's not a lot. And you said they've mostly kind of been your boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean, boyfriend? Like, well, my first wasn't, he was something like my boyfriend, but after that happened, we didn't talk anymore. Mm-hmm. Wow. Because he, did, he didn't want to talk to you. Yeah. Yeah. 
You say something kind of like your boyfriend. Well, most of them were my boyfriend. What does that mean? Mom. I, did don't, you know, I don't know what. Did you know, you said she, you kind of knew what your daughter was doing. Did you know it was this much? No. No? No. I thought maybe three. So at what age did your mom talk to you about sex? Um, probably when I was about 14. About 14? Yes. And when did you start doing it? Well, my first time was when I was 13, but I didn't start being really sexually active until I was 14 or 15. <laughs> okay, so 13, it was like making out, like heavy making out? Yeah. And then 14 was sex? Yes. Um, I heard you say something to my producers, like if she would have talked to you earlier, it would have been different? Yes. What does that mean? If you would have talked to me about it earlier, then it would have made a difference because I would have known more about sex than just pushing myself into it. I hear you. A lot of the time I felt like when I tried to talk to you about things like that, you, you feel like you're being lectured and you tune me out and you won't listen. Mm -hmm. Especially when you come home and you have hickeys and I talk to you and I just get the eye rolling and the sucking your teeth at me. And I've tried, but if you need to, me to listen to you more, I'm always here. Always, no matter what. How old are the guys that you're dating? How old are the guys that you're dating, sweetie? Most of the guys were probably 16 to 18. 16 to 18? Do you know she's what? going to school with the boys that are that old. Same thing with Mercedes. Mm -hmm. Even though she's a freshman, she's with the older guys. But Mercedes said that the guy that she had sex with. He's 15. But it was the day after she met him. That I'm no, I've known him for two years. But it was the day after we started dating. It was like the day after that. you started dating. So I want to be your girlfriend, and then the next day, let's have sex. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That why, I'm, why do you actually laugh? I'm not, because I, I think it just sounds like a typical um, come on kind of a thing. It's not it's funny, funny at all. It's not funny I don't think I'm laughing because it's funny. I'm laughing out of a, of a, ner a nervousness. nervousness. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not because it's funny. So it's something it's, that you're going to work on and address. Of right? course. I mean, as it is... Um, you know, Mercedes has asked me about going on birth control pill. God forbid she gets pregnant because I, my sister got pregnant when she was 14. I know what it's like with teenage pregnancy. Mercedes, you said that you felt pressure. Do you think if you talked to your mom in any different kind of way that the pressure wouldn't have felt as much if she talked to you about sex differently? How did she talk to you about sex? We never really talked about it for like a long period of time. Like it'd be like here and there. Like little quick, fast conversations? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not yeah. longer conversations. Mm -hmm. Would you and it'd like be pretty to? Awkward. It was like, awkward. Yeah. yeah. And then when I when I would ask her about it, she'd say, "Oh well, we don't need to talk about that because I already know all of it." And, and then, then like, you would say, "And then you would say school. what?" So you I think said, it's sure? enough in school? Um, I think that they're actually doing a pretty good job actually teaching about um, sex education protection and stuff like that. I went to uh, parent night and they went over all the curriculum and one of the things that they talked about was the fact that they used to wait until they were seniors to talk to them about it. They don't anymore. They get them when they're freshmen now. So you think they've done enough and that's good in oh, school? Oh, no, no, no. I think it's good that the, they get it in school because there are a lot well, of parents. What do you parents. think you could have done differently? For well, her to not like, this is my boyfriend now and now we're supposed to have sex immediately. Well, one of the things that I've talked to her about is the peer pressure because that's what I went through. Mm -hmm. That if you, weren't, if you weren't, like she said, I heard it on the tape when she said she needed to get it over with. In other words, to be part of the group, to feel comfortable with other kids, then you need to have sex. I don't want her to feel that pressured for that. We'll be right back. Up next, do your kids feel safe enough to talk to you about sex? When I see like other people tell their parents they look so disappointed, and I don't want to disappoint my parents. Still to come, how to answer the tough questions. And right at the dinner table, she said, Mom is a real word. <laughs> and then, of course, what follows is, well, what does it mean? We're talking about kids and sex. When do you talk to your kids about sex? So we um, actually have um, Tina and Ashley here with us right now. And Ashley uh, started crying in, in, in the tape piece uh, before the break. 
Why were you crying, Ashley? It's emotional for me to not be able to talk to my mom. So. <laughs> it's okay. I just, I don't want to feel judged ever. <laughs> you think like, your mom might judge you? Like, I think that if ever, anything ever did happen, and I would have to tell her mm -hmm. that she would be judging me, mm -hmm. so like, I don't know. That's hard to think that. Tina, can you tell her that you won't judge her, but that you still will parent her? Oh, definitely. But We've pushed her because she has such big dreams to wait. There's so many things that she wants to do that waiting would be really important. Mm -hmm. So Ashley, why, why are you crying? Have you done things and you just feel a little I uncomfortable? I haven't, but like, I know that if it came to that, because like, I listen to all the other kids, like all the other kids at my school and stuff, and like, they are having sex and they are doing things like that, and like, I don't want it to happen, like, if I do it because there's so much pressure and stuff, that my mom will think of me different. Because mm -hmm. like, when I see like other people tell their parents they look so disappointed, and I don't want to disappoint my parents. <laughs> I'm not a psychic, but I feel that, Ashley, I feel like your tears are because you've done more than kiss and hold hands and you feel guilty. Um, is that true? No, I just... Just kissed and held his hand. That's well, it. Like, we, not like we just kissed. Like, I, you know how you said earlier, like, there's like making out and then there's like having sex. Well, like... We don't have sex, but like there is making out, I guess. It's not what does like, that mean, making out? Like, Mom's not going to judge. We're like, just getting it out. Long kisses. Like, <laughs> not like. Has he touched you on not, top of your clothes? Just, just wearing clothes. Like, so nothing like intrusive. Like, I wear my clothes. <laughs> Mom, he's touched her on top of the clothes. I'm okay with touching on top of the clothes. I'd like to see the clothes left on at all times. <laughs> I, I'll tell you right now, she's not going to talk to you. She'll never tell you the truth. Until she's pregnant and, Mom, I'm married for five years and I had sex with my husband and I'm pregnant. <laughs> she's not going to tell you. I, I could just tell. She doesn't feel safe enough. Um, Roland lies to his, kid, his friends and says he's having sex. Wow. So it can feel comfortable. Yeah, that's unfortunate that peer pressure is so strong. But I'm glad to know that because I want to be able to give him what he needs. And if he tells me what he thinks I want to hear, then I can't try to support him. So I'm mm -hmm. glad as much as I was like ready to fall out of my chair, mm -hmm. especially the part about when he wants to talk about sex, he talks to his friends. Well, yeah. Mom. I hang out with my friends all the time. Like they always with me. You never see me without my friends, right? So if, I'm about, if I have something on my mind, who I'm going to talk to first? But you know what? If, they, if you know that they're not having sex, how can they answer your question? I don't know if they're having sex or not, because I'm lying about it. I don't know if they're lying about it. <laughs> I, want you, I want you to have real answers to your questions. So then I what know... What are your questions? My question is like, how sex feels, how it feel when you stick it in and all that, but I'm just saying. Well, that, that's, that's probably a, a legitimate question. I hate to hear it so wrong. Why would I ask, why would, why would I, wait, why would I ask my mom about that though? Okay, you know what? Your dad lives in California, and if you're not comfortable talking to your dad, I know. Talk to me. Talk to somebody. It There's feels awful. Be. It feels like fire and damnation. <laughs> it feels like nails hitting your skin with a hammer. And then after that, you just go blind. <laughs> Up next, where are your kids learning about safe sex? I saw it on TV one time, on BET one time. On BET. <laughs> So we're talking about when and how do you talk to your kids about sex. Before the break, Roland was very curious and very honest and wanted to know what sex felt like 
when you do something, when a boy does something to a girl, and I, I answered you very funnily, of course that's not the truth. Okay. Um, you know that's not the truth. Yeah. We were joking. Okay. But what else do you want to know? We're having the talk right now, Roland. Well, I just want to know, like, how you put a condom on and stuff, like, well, how you, does it, is it an upside down, inside out, I don't know. <laughs> Didn't I teach you that in all of the... Well, they, they taught me how, they just showed us it at school, like... On a banana? No, I saw Cucumber? that. Cucumber? Mm -mm, they didn't even put it on nothing tape. school. They just used the kind. I, I saw it on TV one time, on BET one time. On BET? <laughs> it was like a sex thing. But you've been in a lot of sex education classes. You've been in the abstinence training, and we talked about I know, about but it. they don't do, like, actual stuff on... Well, they show you the condom. They show you how it don't protect everything. Well, I ain't been messing with them or anything, but... Obviously not, yeah. which is a good thing. Yeah. Right? I can tell you have. So you're just curious. You're not planning on using them anytime soon, are you? No, I'm just asking them about it. How do they use it? And sometimes I just <laughs> test my friends. Okay, stop right now. Mind. Stop right now. That's, let's, now we're going to get real honest. Okay. okay. So you've taken the abstinence thing, and the abstinence oath, yes. and said you're going to wait. Yes. But you still want to know how a condom works. And well, you want to know what sex feels like. I want to know about everything. Like, see what I'm missing out of because they're always talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like that I'm going to do it because I'm going to wait. Because my mom, I don't want to disappoint or anything. But why is it about your mom? What about you? Let's talk about you. What do you think is right? I think, I think what's right is just, well, everything I do, I do to make my mom happy. Mm. Because... She don't think I got in my life right now. I'm not sure. That's it. Um, it's, it, you say you do it to make your mom happy. Does that make you feel a little conflicted, mom? That he's doing yeah, because it's I just want, for I you want, as opposed to I want him to understand that it's for his life, that he would yeah. avoid having an unwanted pregnancy, yeah. that he won't get chlamydia, uh, HIV, gonorrhea, or syphilis. Uh, what I'm teaching you is for your life to Because if he gets okay. mad at you one day because teenagers get mad, yeah. he'll be like, I'm going out. So are you doing it for you or just, you gotta be doing this for you. I'm doing things to I help you be successful. Any H I, I mean, STDs, anything. I don't want none of that icky stuff. I don't want my thing turning green or nothing. <laughs> But are you doing it for you? I'm doing it for me. Do I'm you doing sometimes... it for me and you, Ma. Let's put it like that. Okay. <laughs> do, have you ever had a girlfriend? Yeah, I, I've, I've had girlfriends. And then do they ever want more from you? That's when I cut them off. <laughs> Mom, you're having a heart attack. Why are you having such a heart attack over here? Because it only takes one time. And you could have your son come home and say, Mom, I got somebody pregnant. Yes. And then we've been going, you know how we're Christians, and we don't want this just to be in vain, just for me to get up here and sound like I'm on a soapbox. I want children to know that they can have their goals reached. They can reach their goals if they avoid pitfalls. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I preach abstinence. And to other parents, no offense to you at all, and I understand your plight, but if we can shoot for the top, and if they get somewhere close, it's better than having a baby in high school. And some of you said you experienced that. You don't want that for her. No, I don't So want let's that keep for pushing her. Even if they made the mistake, we can say, okay, you did that once. Let's find some other ways we can structure your time. I want them to have children and be happy and be able to teach them that they're not just doing it to please mom. They're doing it so they can have a good life. I want him to have a good life. Kids get a lot of their sex information from friends, the internet, pop culture, their parents, their own experiences. But we wanted to see if the kids here know the facts that can literally save lives, which is what Charlotte's talking about. We have to meet with adolescent sex health expert Dr. Debbie Herbenick, who asked them questions about sex that she felt were age appropriate. and it's all about sex. What are sperm? What are what? The other side of the baby, like with the guy's stuff. Uh, some icky stuff that comes out of you? Out of a boy? I was gonna say out of me? <laughs> no, no, I think out of a boy, I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> what does STD stand for? Sexually transmitted disease. What's chlamydia? Chlamydia, uh, I don't know. Oh, it's a sexually transmitted disease for a girl. 
Okay, and you guys get it too? I don't, I don't know. And what's HPV? Oh, um, I've never heard of that before. What would happen if you got HIV? I don't know. Do you know the name of the condition that it causes? How do people get HIV? Uh, anal sex. Like, can you get it from oral sex? Yes. I think so. I don't know. If your partner has an STD, then you can see it. Uh, true. 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 Is someone still a virgin if they only have oral sex? Is that a true or false? <laughs> can you repeat that? True. Technically, you're not, but to a lot of people, they think that they are. I give you all a collective F. <laughs> Chal, what do you think, Dr. Debbie? Yeah. You know, it's really tough because kids don't get a lot of information about sex from school or from their parents, and certainly not accurate information from their friends, even though some of them thought they were getting great information from their friends. So overall, I think one of the most shocking things for me was that almost none of them knew about HIV. Mm -hmm. um, almost none of them knew that it caused AIDS or how serious it was. Um, they didn't know how they could prevent HIV. They didn't know what chlamydia was, and they didn't know what HPV was, even though chlamydia and HPV are two of the most common sexually mm -hmm. transmissible infections, especially that affect 15 to 19 year olds. They also sometimes thought that, you know, they couldn't get pregnant if a girl was on her period, and there's yeah, no safe day. Yeah. So it's, you know, there's a lot of good information out there, and parents can be a great resource source and schools often are not covering it, especially abstinence-based programs. Yeah. And that's why it's so important for the parents to not just rely on what the schools are or are not doing. We'll be right back. should you talk to your kids about sex? How much should you tell them? We've heard from moms who are dealing with giving the talk to their 11 to 15 year olds, all right? So this is like teens and tweens. But what if your kids are as young as three or five or seven or eight and they're asking you very sexy questions that you do not know how to handle? Um, Jennifer, in addition to you, um, having a Leandra who is how old is she again 15 She's 15 15 um, you also have a nine-year-old Isis Isis yes. have you been talking Isis, Isis about sex in any way yes um, she knows where babies come from um, she is only the second youngest out of six Mm -hmm. So she's got a lot of older brothers and sisters and then a younger brother. And she hears them. She hears them. Um, Do you feel like you want to try to get it right this time? Yeah, I think I'm doing something wrong somewhere. And I, with my self getting pregnant when I was 15, I feel like with Isis, she's my youngest girl. And I just want to you wanna get it break right. this cycle. Yeah, that's, and, and that's and good. And get it, get it right so that we can get on track where we don't have to worry about this kind of thing. Elena, your daughter is how old? You have two. I have two girls. Uh, my oldest, Femia, is eight. And then I have my, my middle daughter is uh, six. Okay. And Femia was asking you a certain word and what it means about yes, a word. Yes. I was shocked, actually. You I can had, say the uh, word. We'll bleep you. <laughs> I had been just that day to my girlfriend's house and said, I, when do you think it's time to start talking about stuff like that? And then right at the dinner table, she said, mom is real word. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I almost choked on my food and I thought where's her father when I need him now uh -huh. um, and I, I said yes it's a real word and then of course what follows is well what does it mean and so I'm you know racing to think okay because I was really shocked um, my girls like to watch Animal Planet <laughs> and on Animal Planet they talk a lot about mating and so my, them, they seem to handle mating well so I said well it, you know it means to mate of course I, I explained to her that it's not a word that we use that it's it, it's improper and and not polite we don't say that word your six-year-old came home singing a song yeah this is another time I almost had a car accident because I'm driving and my six-year-old was singing a song and it says something about um, I, I can't think of the name of the song but it says like sexophonic in it and she said just out of the blue she goes I know what sex is and and I said well what what is sex Ray and she said well Sex is when a girl gets dressed real pretty so that she can attract a boyfriend. And I just left it at that. I thought, okay, I can deal with that. Then we've got Tony. What did your five-year-old say that shocked you? 
This is pretty shocking, too. Yes. Um, actually, we um, she spent a night at a friend's house. Um, you know, they're great friends, the, the parents. They're really, you know, really good and everything. And she went over there, and when I went to pick her up, me and her older sister driving home in the car, and she's like, Mom, she kept saying, Mom, I have to tell you something. I have to tell you something. So I'm like, okay, go ahead. What is it? She says, um, you know, such and such said, um, could I kiss her cat? So I'm driving, I'm like, oh, you know, I asked her, I said, well, what did you do? Did you, did you kiss it? And she said, no. I said, girl, pull your pants and panties up. So it turned into- The girl pulled fun. her panties down was, for I your daughter? I guess she woke up and the, the little girl was standing there, you know, without, with her pants and panties down and said, kiss my cat. I just felt that, I, I mean, I knew that she knew what was right and wrong, she knew whether something. I'm, there or not. Okay. So I was fine with that. Then we have Jen. Jen, you have uh, daughters. How old are your daughters? Five and six. Five and six. Mm -hmm. And um, what, do you, what do you talk to them about when it comes to sex? We don't talk about it. We're very um, conservative, I guess you would say. Mm -hmm. um, but my, um, there she is. my uh, she was five years old at the time, last year in kindergarten. She came home and said, Mommy, this little boy keeps kissing me. Every morning I walk in, I'm like, huh? <laughs> and I said, excuse me. And then she's come back the next day and said, Mommy, he kissed me again. I was like, okay, now this is, we can't have this. I said, this is not, we're not going to tolerate this. I said, the next time he does this, please go to your teacher and let your teacher know. And the teacher took care of it right away. And the teacher took care yes. of it. Um, when we come back, we're going to see the kids. And just like the older kids were asked age-appropriate questions about sex, their children are asked age-appropriate questions about sex and we'll see what they have to say. We'll be right back. So when should you talk to your kids about sex? So when did your parents talk to sex, talk about sex with you? We're going to check out what happened when these moms, much younger kids, sat down with Dr. Debbie and they answered questions that Dr. Debbie felt were age appropriate. Check this out. Do you know how moms and dads get babies? I don't really know how they form, but I think they're formed from self. From God? From where? From God. From God. They come from God. What have you heard from your friends at school? Some of them say they came at the hospital. At the hospital, okay. The baby comes from the doctor. The baby comes from the doctor. Where does the doctor get the baby? The doctor. And then, how does the baby come out of the mom? Well, there's a little door in the from, from my stomach? Yes. The doctor pulled the mom out. It's like this little thing that opens up, and the babies, and then that's how the baby gets out. How are boys and girls' bodies different? Girls wear dresses and boys don't. Some boys don't shave their legs. They have different private spots. Okay, different private spots. What are their private spots called? Penis and pea sheet. The better in the group, they bring their eyebrows. They don't put lipstick on. The better. Show me. The back. How else are boys and girls different? Girls get penis. Girls get periods. What's the period? It's the end of a sentence. Whose daughter said that? That was your daughter? She said a period to end of a sentence. Very sweet. Come on out here, little ladies. Young ladies, how are we? Good. Good. Okay, so Femia, is it Femia or Femia? Femia. Femia. Now, I was very impressed with your, your, your talk about cells and, 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 and the door to a cell. What was the question? Um, 
how the baby gets out. Yeah, how a baby baby's comes. Made. How a baby's yeah. made, and you said it was with a cell. Explain that some more. Um, I think I read it from a book that babies form from cells in the mo mother's body. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's very close. Very accurate. Very good, Mom. Very good. Okay, Rhea, you said babies are from God. Tell us who told you that. Um, my mom. Your mommy. <laughs> very nice. Tomiko, you said boys um, don't put on lipstick. How else are boys different? Because they have different hairs. They have different hairs? <laughs> <laughs> but you're so cute. <laughs> okay. And Lindsay, you said that the doctor gets the baby from the babysitter. <laughs> Very cool. So where does the babysitter get the baby, though? At the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. It's like a circle of love that just continues round and round. Okay. Now, um, where did you learn about periods, Isis? From my sister. From your sister. And what did your sister say? They said only girls can get periods. That's true. Okay, and the last thing I want to ask is, tell me what a period is. You. Um, it's something that comes at the end of a sentence to, like, pause. That is so true. And we're going to take a period right now and a pause, and the little ladies can go on back. Go on backstage. Thank you so much. Adult stuff Dr. Debbie, let's break down some age stuff. What should you tell your child before two when it comes to sex, or should you not tell them anything? Well, you know, they're not saying too much during that time period, yeah. but this is a great time for you to get comfortable starting to say words when you're bathing them or changing their diapers, like, I'm bathing your penis now, I'm, you know, putting some lotion on your labia. Okay. Ages two to five. Two to five, kids are really just starting to learn how boys and girls are different then, and they're learning what a boy is and what a girl is, and that these things don't change. So this is really, you know, getting familiar with body part names and learning good touch, bad touch, and just really the basics there. Now, you know, I don't have children, but moms a lot of the times are saying that kids masturbate. Yes. At what age do they start touching themselves? Well actually even in the womb we have images of boys and girls touching their genitals. So really? The parts are there, they're in working order and even as babies and toddlers they do and most parents will see this in their children um, so that's common. Teachers see it and you know you hear all kinds of stories where you know I know a woman who said she walked in the room and a little girl was masturbating with a stuffed animal and she told she was babysitting this girl and she told her mom and the mom Mom said, oh yeah, she had a hard day at school, she'll be done in 10 minutes. <laughs> so, just like teenagers and adults, kids do it more often when they're stressed. And when you catch your kid, what are you supposed to say? You catch your little you know, son and daughter. You know, generally, we say things like pediatricians will say, you know, that's okay to do, but do it in a private area, like in your bedroom or the bathroom, so they don't feel bad about their body, but they learn it's not okay for the family room and it's not okay for science class. Okay, for more information so. <laughs> on how to talk to your kids about sex, we just ended at about five years old or so, go to tyrashow.com. We take it all the way till they're 18 years old. What you used to say about sex, tyrashow.com. Thanks for watching. Fierce and love. On Wendy.